it's like I'm seeing double or triple, I guess, but really early Zeno coupes. I've got my 87 IS right here, and I have an 86 325E, or I guess 325 right here. Also Zeno. Um, this is a car I actually located for and brokered for a local friend. Formerly a one owner car um, from an estate sale, actually, of all things. Really, really nice condition, but it has a lot of things kind of wrong with it from essentially disuse. So the first thing I'm really going to be looking at is the clutch pedal went to the floor. So this car will be getting a new clutch master cylinder and clutch slave cylinder. Probably going to bleed the brakes at the same time. And then I do see the timing belt was last done about 15 years ago. So I might dip my phone in the front there and take a look at just the condition of the belt. I might recommend a timing belt and water pump job anyway, just because it has been so long. Aside from that, I think I'll also replace this hose because it is clearly in offensively terrible condition, splitting and mushrooming on both sides. But really, the car is in fabulous condition overall. And I think it should stay that way. So I'm going to get it up in the air. Um, I'm going to remove the under dash trim panel on the inside so I can get to what I need to get to. And then really the hardest part of the job is getting at the um, clutch line fitting on the back of the master cylinder. So fluid level is actually extremely low. I'm not sure. It's a little worrying. Uh, I'll take a look. It's possible just the slave failed, but really you always want to do cylinders in pairs. So it does still have an early knee bolster in it. That's incredible. Nice hound's tooth. Unfortunately, the seats are not in excellent condition. You can tell by the uh, seat covers. But anyway, just a couple plastic standard screws there to get that off. And uh, yeah, that'll be a little bit later on in the project and process, but let's get it up in the air, start working on that line and see what we can do. Huh, maybe I'm just remembering things from when I worked in a one car converted wood shop. That doesn't actually look too bad to get to. So 11 millimeter flare wrench. And yeah, there's our slave right there. It looks like the master definitely failed. I don't see any juice coming out of the slave, but we'll pull the 213s on that as well. Take a look. Trans is really oily. Looks like it might need a rear main, but power steering's bone dry, which is awesome. Still has a 1.2 kilowatt starter on it. Don't see that very often. Pan gasket doesn't look too bad. Oh, forget what I said about the power steering being dry. But honestly, this thing is nice. It's clearly done an honest 100,000 miles. Good, somebody's bypassed the idiotic brake sensor light. Um, yeah, open diff, which is weird, but it's a just 325, so I'll see if he wants to throw in an LSD at some point, but this is a nice car. I, I never see him this clean up here anymore. So anyway, I'm gonna get going on, I should pull the slave first and I'll get the bleeder open on that because I want to drain the system and then I'll start cranking on that fitting up there. Well, Slave did fail. So I'm actually gonna throw a slave in it first and quick reverse bleed it just to see if we have pedal pressure. Um, there's really, it's no harder <laughs> to change the uh, the master later. So I'll at least give them the option if it's just a slave for now. I wouldn't normally do that, uh, but this car has such low mileage, whatever. So we'll throw a slave on it real quick, bleed it, there's no fluid in the line at all, so I don't think this is rear main. I think that was actually uh, brake fluid coming out from uh, the failed seal in here. So we will see. Well, it's brimmed with fresh DOT4. Just need to make sure that the clutch pedal's up. It is indeed. Back up we go to do my patented super cool reverse bleed procedure, which I've done a video on and is not actually patented. Well, I bled it, and now I have good, solid resistance. If I push in slowly on this, so I'm going to bolt it back in, and we'll check the clutch pedal. Okay, FTE cylinder is in. 
put my little cap on the bleeder for, you know, stockness. Let's uh, bring the car down and see if that did it. Well, clutch feels good, so. Oh, right, the battery needs charged. Well, let's see if that was enough time on the charger. Interesting. Heck yeah. Nice, thing runs sweet as a nut too. Motronic 1.0 when it works, works. All right, bled the brakes, replaced the super sketchy coolant hose, and new clutch slave cylinder. Let's see how she do. Oh, and new battery. Makes me miss Blau 30. If you've, uh, if you've watched my channel longer than, I guess, 10 years at this point, you will remember my old daily. Curious to see if the anti lock light goes out or if we've got a bad anti lock relay. Second gear synchro doesn't feel too good. I might change the trans oil on this. Maybe it's a little low. Second doesn't feel great, yeah. Other than that, boy, this car feels pretty good. Yee yee, pick em up trucks, hoo hoo! I don't understand this country. So yeah, we'll take a look at the anti-lock light. Very often there's a little silver relay by my left knee under the dash there. And uh, there's a little fusible link in those that pops. So I just solder a piece of wire in there, about the same size, and away you go. But since the car is here, let's take a look. Runs so nice. Two seven. Oh man, factory head unit still too. I appreciate that. All right, let's look at the ABS relay. And what was the other thing? Totally blanking. Transmission oil. <laughs> well, I got it. It's definitely never been opened before, so that's a good sign. I'm just gonna go ahead and bend these open so I can slide the relay out. Just as I suspected, blown link. And there's a new link, should be good. This is not good. That is the wrong color. It's overfilled. Oh my God. This is the fill plug. Dude, oh no, what was in this thing? Uh, wow, this poor Getrag, man, hopefully it's okay. Oh my God, how did somebody over, oh, I bet somebody had this out and they filled it standing up. Yeah, this is not good. Normal, definitely normal. Well, that's done with. It's full of Redline MT90, which is my personal favorite for these. Back in the day, people recommended MTL. Still good fluid. 
equally good, I would say, but Redline MT90 is still my favorite. Let's see how she does. Oh, oh, it's so much better. Good Lord. Oh, the transmission shifts like a million bucks. Gotta love the resilience of a Getrag 260-5. Thing pulls to the left. Wow. Cool. Wow, that is incredible how much better it shifts. Nice. I forgot how roly-poly a stock E30 is. This thing is awesome. I should tell him to like not modify it at all. It's just so much better this way. Well, I call that a job. Well done. I'm sure we'll see more of this car. It needs an odometer rebuild. <sighs> should really look at the brakes, brake lining, do an inspection reset. But like the six button's perfect, the radio works, dash, whatever, they're all cracked, but this thing's nice. I really like it.